Oh, it's Rick Taylor. You already know the vibes, man. Party tapping in with y'all. Interview on Rap Draft. Tune the fuck in. You already know. Yo, 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 what's going on, man? It's another episode of The Rap Draft. It's your boy, Rick Taylor. I got my dog, Prince Party, with me, man. What's going on, man? Not much, man. Cooling with the fam, man. You know, tapping in with people while I'm here for a little bit. Uh, you already know, man. That's what's up. I mean, here on The Rap Draft, we like to interview all artists, not just music artists, but artists of all kinds, painters, barbers, whatever art you do. Oh, it's yeah. a platform for you. So basically, we like to like get the fans and the people who want to know about you a little insight on your life and mm -hmm. find out who you is. So, sure. you know, with that being said, my first question for you is, where was you born and raised? Say it again, born and raised? Yeah, where was you born and raised? Oh, I was born and raised here in Milwaukee, you know, uh, <coughs> pretty much all over town, not just one side, but... I ain't really leave Milwaukee till I got a little older type shit, so. Now, when you was in Milwaukee, like, growing up in Milwaukee, like, where was you raised? Like, where'd you grow up at? Um, I grew up, like, by, um, I grew up on, like, Mill Road, and then we moved to, like, uh, Brown Deer, and then we moved to, um, Harbor Point, like, Glenbrook Road and shit like that. Then I lived on Capitol for, like, some probably some years bro I was on capital for like probably like six seven years with moms yeah now what was life like as a kid growing up in milwaukee for you um i say it was a lot more shit that was open you know what i'm saying like there was more like business and it was a bit safer i feel like but um i don't know it wasn't wasn't too much glitz and glamour i mean it was always the mill but i felt like it was it was a little safer out here for the kids and whatnot but you know it was it was cool I was outside a lot, so shit. Right. Yeah, growing up in Milwaukee was different from what it is now, and like it's different from what people out of town, you know, yeah. think about Milwaukee is way different. Yeah, the whole atmosphere is different. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, um, for the people who want to know, like, who is Prince Party? Prince Party is party at four, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I'm an artist, um, multifaceted. I mean, I paint, um, make beats, produce, engineer, um, cook culinary artist um i do i just try to stay busy and creative you know what i'm saying that's pretty much yeah pretty not much just of it. yeah not to cut you off i kind of recognize that like when i met you i'm like you know i met you through my boy uh tay mm -hmm. and that's uh good. mk shout out mke naps man yeah yeah my boy shout out to cuz yeah now when i met you i knew you did music and um i also see you did beats but mm -hmm. i didn't know you had that art aspect of your other side of like the oh, talent yeah. as far as art drawing painting mm -hmm. doing all kind of creative stuff like that and i was like man this dude kind of different like oh, yeah. he can sure, rap he can sing he can make beats and then like he true to his art so i'm like yeah. I, I noticed that you're not just a rapper like you're an artist oh uh, yeah yeah for sure i like to i was drawing and like painting stuff like that since i was a kid mm -hmm. um and then i just kind of stuck with it i just like to be creative man any any way i can express it how i'm feeling inside and get it out whether it's music or art or whatever it is painting something i mean i just gotta go ahead go for it try it out right and i seen that like even just with the fashion tip like how mm -hmm. you was like being different and yeah. staying in your own lane and, you know not following no trends or nothing oh yeah no i love love fashion that's yeah. why I, I started making my own little clothes and shit. I, uh, I stitch everything by hand but i'm uh finna get a sewing machine here in the near future and go ahead and go crazy crazy with it because i like to buy clothes and stuff like that but i like to customize them and rip them up and paint on them anyway so i might as well just make my own for real for real so get me and black working on that that's dope now um what or who inspired you to do music or in the first place um early on it was it was, it was mostly wayne um the first beats I wrote to was um, Jeezy and something off Port of Miami 1. I forgot what it was, but Wayne made me actually want to rap. And then moms used to play like Lauryn Hill and Usher and Ludacris and plenty of people. So I just kind of kind of grew on me and then I wanted to do it myself. And then my uncle, uh, Naps Pops, him and my pops, they rapped and stuff like in the city back when they were like our age and stuff. So it was just kind of been in our family. So I just had to fuck with it, see what I could do. And then it stuck, so. All right, type shit. Now, um, for the people who want to know or who probably never heard your music before, mm -hmm. like, how can you describe your sound? Mm. Mm. That's a hard one, cause like I got I got plenty of little vibes that I do. Like I don't I don't really stay on one one vibe for too long. But um, the music that's out, my bad, in the public domain, I say like it's R and B vibes. You know, like feel good vibes. Um, yeah. 
but overall like I like to rap um I like the singing stuff too just to like grow my creativity and stuff and, and get better with my craft but ultimately it, it just depends I re it's hard to answer the question because like I took my SoundCloud down and the only stuff out right now is R&B but that's like the newer vibe that I've been on so like but pretty much you just multi-talented because I sent it myself like when I like and that's perfect especially for this day and age of mm -hmm. music like it could take you so far like yeah, not yeah. only like can you have bars like lane but you could also hit the acapellas and get on your chris yeah, brown yeah. tip or you know anybody yeah, like yeah. in that lane like and put it together yeah, that's yeah. a hit artist right there so yeah that's that's what i've really been trying to focus on oh, shit. Yeah. gotta finish that oh yeah so that's what i've been trying to kind of focus on is like um singing and rapping and like finding that mesh to where it's like organic i mean like it's not like oh this nigga trying to rap his ass off and then sing to us so we listen to both like you know what i mean so kind of been working on that right and i think that's dope bro um and your talents and your hard work like because i used to see you freestyling a lot on facebook and stuff yeah. like that and it was going viral and that ended up like leading you to like connecting with whack 100 like mm -hmm. how did like describe that how was that uh whack cool peoples you know what i'm saying um he had reached out through Instagram, uh, you know what I mean? We didn't really do no paperwork or put no deal or nothing together, but it was just a good experience and whatnot. And then um, that like led me to other opportunities and things like that. But he likes my videos and like be commenting and you know, keeping in touch here and there. So he pretty cool though. He a good person to know and have, you know what I mean? On retain, I guess. Yeah, that's dope. Because I remember when I seen him, I'm like, man, that's what's up, bro. Got whack behind him. Like, yeah, yeah. just to see somebody from a walkie period doing their thing and getting, like, yeah. looks from other people and big names. Yeah, that shit is big to me. I don't know how these how these people be finding me. Or, you know what I mean? But I'm blessed, though. I'm definitely right. blessed and appreciative. So. Right. And um, also, speaking after whack, I also see you linked up with Mace. Yeah, did I? Yeah. How did that happen? Uh, that was through my boy J.K. Uh, he had showed him who I was, if I'm not mistaken, on Instagram. And then he had hit me up because he wanted me to come down and work on some tools or whatnot. But um, it was cool. It was a good experience, like a learning experience. Definitely a learning experience. I mean, but. That's dope, man. Shout out J. Kane for, uh, you know, showing love and showing Mace who you was. Man. Yeah, yeah. J. Kane, cool. Definitely a good spirit. Yeah. Now, also, I see that you uh, signed a deal or you under yk management and um you also signed to blackout entertainment yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah like how is everything going over there like how did that happen uh blackout that's family i mean that's shout out to unk um but i'm signing young king records that's uh yk osiris's pops you know what i'm saying man made some great music um got a lot of respect for the guy you know what i'm saying but uh yeah but back to blackout man uh yeah yeah that's unk man <clears throat> I mean, we be, we be getting things together and in order, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I don't want to wanna wanna say nothing too crazy about anything, but, you know. Yeah. Shout out to those guys and Blackout, baby. You know yeah. Man. And that's dope, man. I see Blackout got a lot of talent over there. Looney, oh, yeah. A lot of people, man. Like, And I think it's good shout to see. Shout out Big Bro Looney. Free yeah. my nigga, too. Free Looney, man. Respectfully. You know, shout out, shout out Guap. Chopo, shout, shout out, out 54 Chop. Baby Trey, yeah. Solo Key, a lot, of, you know, a lot of people, man, the city is doing their thing right now, H1, shout out everybody, man. Facts. We got a lot of talent here. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. I be telling people that, like, and that's my reason why I do this, man. I try to give people another platform because, you yeah. know, a lot of, it's a lot of places, like, a lot of shows that got, like, you know, podcasts, they interview artists, but I want to just, not only artists, I want to interview everybody yeah. who got something going on that can lead then to something. you come to the crib, bro, it's, like, genuine, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a real interview, you know what I'm saying, as opposed to meeting up somewhere and it being, like, scripted or whatever, like, I fuck with it. Yeah, appreciate it, bro, and I appreciate you for opening your home for me. Oh, yeah. Now, um, I see, like, um, you moved to Atlanta recently. How has life in Atlanta been going for you? Man, lit, boy. There's so much love down there, dog. It's like everybody just, from what I've seen and experienced, like everybody just want to see each other prosper, bro. Like it ain't no sidebar conference. I'm sure it is. That's everywhere. But for the most part that I've experienced, like it's just love, bro. Like everybody tapping in and trying to network and grow and build with each other. And, you know what I mean, offer something instead of just, hey, do this for me. And then that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like it'd be, it'd be shit to be given and got. So it's a nice little bridge. But I say like if that's where you, if you really want to do music, like that's, that's, that's the place to be though. Like 
I bump into so many producers and like just niggas with their own clothing lines or niggas that stop me like, yo, you look like you do something and it's not like just a random motherfucker, like it'll be somebody, you know what I mean? Like it's just it's just endless opportunities out there, like no matter where you are, like you would be in Walgreens or grabbing you a bite to eat and it'll be somebody that's you know what I mean? Right. So I, I fuck with it. Yeah, I think that's dope, bro. Like that was a that was like one of the best things you could ever did. Like, cause you know, we a lot of times we got talent but we sit on it. Yeah. By staying in Milwaukee. Comfy. Yeah, and you like we got we let a lot of fears or doubt get to us versus yeah. going to chase our dreams and um even with myself man i feel like i should be moving around especially in this field what i'm doing now i should move around meet yeah, other artists know. meet other people because you know never know where it might lead even if it's not something for myself i can set something up for somebody else to do music or yeah. do anything else so. or you bump into a producer or somebody with a network like i had did an interview somewhere and um i don't want to speak too much on it because i don't know if it's confidential or whatever on their behalf but um it was like a like I had did a Fox Soul interview and it was just plenty of people there from different, you know, branches and departments and stuff like that and it was just like giving me like little jewels on what they experienced and how they came about their position and it just it'd be crazy, bro, because it'd be things you wouldn't expect. Like you could be filming an interview at a George Webb in Atlanta and somebody that's from Tyler Perry's crew is grabbing some food and see what you're doing. Like, oh I fuck with this young black man. Like I'm gonna I mean get him in tune with what I got going on and there go your opportunity right there. Like right. it just be plenty of shit down there and it's it's really pro black yeah. most importantly like yeah i don't really even see too many white people like you see them obviously they're there but with all due respect but yes yeah, it's, it's real pro black down there and i was definitely going to say that about atlanta i call atlanta like the black hollywood or oh uh, yeah or black like it's for us, you know what i'm saying because like they got not only music is the place for music it seems like it's the place for life and it's also the place for entertainment period yeah because you look at inspiration like tyler perry with tyler perry studio so that show you they do movies and they got shows and stuff they work on there as well so yeah facts. it just seems like it's a good place to be so you know um now I also seen that you had like a using a video with Thug, like he was in the video. Yeah. Like explain that, like what was going on there? Um, that was through um my homie Dez. Shout out Dez Gray. Um, she does film work and she's a videographer, very, very talented from um tapped in with her in um Atlanta. Um but she had, had me be um Young Thug's little sister Dora, her boyfriend in her um Como Teyama video. And that's off I think it's slime language it's slime language three or am I saying the wrong project? Say it again. Nah, it's called slime language, I thought. It ain't slime and friends, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The newest one though, but yeah. The songs on there, and uh I was blessed enough to, I mean, get a little cameo in there. Um, real good experience there too. They were they made it feel like real homey. I mean like everybody was nice and polite. And uh Thug was cool, you know what I'm saying? I told him that like he one of my favorites as far as like style and cadence and whatnot and um and he told me thank you and then his sister was dope as fuck. Everybody there was pretty much cool though. Like it was just a good experience, good opportunity. It was pretty dope. Shout out to Des and Thug and Dory. I mean, yeah, shout out to them, man. That's dope, bro. And I, I every time I see that bro, see your videos, I be proud, bro. And I don't just say that just to be saying that shit, like cause I see it. I know you personally, like, I don't yeah, know you, like, like, all the way, but I know you through for a minute, my people, you know I mean? but yeah. I've seen, the, like, the grind, and, like, and the struggle, like, when y'all was living in, like, Minnesota, like, yeah. Tatoe, what y'all went through, and y'all was trying to, like, yeah, get y'all music off the ground, Minnesota and stuff like was that. Something, bro. Yeah. So that's definitely something to look back on, like, and just be proud of yourself, like, doing that, like, where y'all at now, so. Definitely. Hella progress. Yeah. Got plenty of work to do, but the shit we did do, it's a lot in. Now speaking of um, Minnesota days and stuff like that, I remember those 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 XVO days. Like, yeah. And you you and Naps was really going hard. Like mm -hmm. explain like your relationship with Naps and XVO and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Uh, XVO was uh, me, Naps, and our cousin Ray. That was our group. I um, stood for extreme visual abstinence, and that's basically like you know what I mean. You believe in what you see, you produce. So you know what I mean that's that's what that was. Um, <clears throat> I still fuck with Naps. That's big cause like we blood. You know what I mean so I fuck with him the long way. Um, he was in Atlanta with me, he just came back to the mill. But um, Minnesota was a good growing process, like, you know what I mean? Got to like, learn more about myself and like what I can do or whatever. And, and that's kind of like where I really like started um, engineering myself and got Pro Tools and whatnot. And um, my boy Quentin gave me Pro Tools and showed me how to use it. Shout out Quentin Drent, he from um, Minnesota, cool cat. Definitely dope as a bitch. 
Um, but yeah, bro, like niggas was up there doing little odd jobs to make cheese. And then um, I got to selling weed because I got tired of being a CNA. So I quit that and got to selling weed and then shit, making music every day. And then shit, some shit got raided. So a nigga had to move back and uh, Cuz was already back. But and we just kept doing music. But like niggas still rap XBO and shit like that's 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 just like our thing as like a family. And niggas was blessed enough to like have fans and shit like that in Minnesota. But. You know, that's always gonna be uh, cuz he do music too still. Nigga got some shit coming out, so y'all be on the lookout for MKE Naps too, but yeah, Minnesota taught niggas a lot about themselves and it was good for the music. Definitely did my first music videos up there and shit, so. And I seen that them videos was going crazy. Like y'all, yeah. the quality and what y'all was like spitting and shit, that was going crazy. Oh yeah, our nigga. Now, since you've been doing music for so long or just been like, in that world now, like in Atlanta and stuff like that, have you experienced any pros and cons? And if so, like, what are the pros and cons you experienced? In Atlanta? Like, period. Like, even yeah. in Atlanta, Milwaukee, or just doing music, period. Um, I said, uh, it, it's, to be optimistic, it's about even, I mean, pros and cons. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You just, you really gotta believe in what you're doing to yourself, bro. Like, I'm, I'm real big on that. Like, Wayne is like my idol, so you know, Early on, when he when he had the segment, um, he had said like, you know, what I mean, they, niggas get to asking him about what's in his cup and like how he feels like about what niggas really feel about his lifestyle. He was just like, you know what I mean, no one's thoughts matter to me at all. So like, obviously, I'm a Pisces, you know what I mean. So obviously, like, I have my emotional side and shit or whatever may have you, but like, I don't really get too caught up on like what motherfuckers think about me, bro. Like, I believe in myself first, bro. Like, I already know what I want to do. I may not know 100% like how to get there, but like I like to think I'm doing a good job up as up to this today. I'm sorry, as up to this point. So I just really believe in I'm gonna get this shit done, bro, because I don't have no plan B. So like when you tell yourself that and you apply that, bro, you gonna start to push yourself in scenarios that might hurt a little bit, but the outcome and the reward is like so detrimental to your brand, bro. So it'd be like I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Like I got a son. You know what I mean, London. That's what's above my eyebrow. Like I don't really be getting to see him like that. So that's the biggest kind. But I believe in like him not having to go to Minnesota and work in no pig farm, you know what I mean, with his cousins and shit like that. Like all that weak shit that I had to do, I like to think that he won't have to do that. Or it'll be an opportunity where if he wants to work, you know what I mean, then that's fine. But he won't have to do half the little weird shit that I did to get to where I'm at and be comfortable. So that and like me being comfortable and not having to work and like possibly having an opportunity for moms to be done working and shit like that and just help my niggas around me that believed in me and got me here and shit like that's that's worth possibly failing and seeing what could happen and as everybody can see I like to think shit going good as I say so shit yeah why not see it out I mean nigga done got this far and I almost died had brain surgery and shit and I'm still able to rap and communicate and shit so I just think I'm meant to do this at the end of the day and that's a blessing bro just came over overcame all those obstacles like throwing at you like and all through all that struggle you went through it's a blessing to be here and like be in your position and like you really are in a good space and you're doing good like thank you, thank you know how humble you is and like you really like not taking it for granted but you're really still pursuing your dreams and you really yeah. like living out your dreams like because what you're doing is like it's pretty hard for a lot of artists like a lot of artists don't move yeah you know, so sacrifice quitting a job to chase a dream and leaving their family behind yeah, it's hard bro niggas be broke bro that like shout out to black too man my uncle bro like he, he a real good spirit bro like that's my fucking nigga, bro. Like, and Amari, like, he in the hospital right now, but he doing better and shit. But dog make a lot of this shit possible for me, bro. So big shouts out to Black, for real, for real. Like, he make all this shit move, for real, for real, so. And I feel like you closer and closer every day. Like, every time I see something new, like, bro finna get it. Like, I, I see it. Like, you, just too, you in the home of music right now. Bro, I've been in the studio with everybody, bro. Like, A.O. Keys, bro. The nigga that made Waukesha for, um... For money bag, I've been in the studio with um, loopholes, bro. Like, just to met a lot of people, bro, and, and the reaction be genuine, bro. Cause like, I'm a real big person on like people watching. I like to like, you know, see how a motherfucker react to something I say or like shake some shit up just off strength to see if you actually genuine. You know what I'm saying, but niggas be on some some real genuine reaction, like fucking with my music type shit. So, and niggas be fucking with me off strength. You know what I'm saying? So it just be love. You know, working dope, out, bro. That's dope. <clears throat> Congratulations on all that, man. And, um, hey. Now, when it comes to music, it can be like worldwide, but mainly in the city, mm -hmm. but anywhere. Like, do you feel like you get the recognition or respect that you deserve? <clears throat> um. See, like, 
like I'm 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 cocky on the terms of like I know I kind of have an idea of how long I've been working at rapping so like I know I'm pretty good pretty dope if you will but <clears throat> like I don't really expect nothing from nobody bro like like when I do shows and stuff like that like I'm, I'm not at a point where like I'm selling out crowds and stuff so if I'm on a bill other than my niggas that came to see that know me personally if I do it here the niggas I've met in Atlanta like a motherfucker in the crowd don't owe me like singing my lyrics they hard out you know what I mean like I'm not like passing out because of my presence you know what I'm saying so like I don't really trip off if I get recognition or not I, I trip off like my peers more so like niggas that's around my age or something like that like you know you meet niggas in the studio and it'd be like oh i rap rap bro like bro i, I know y'all rap but i rap rap and like you haven't heard me rap yet so like that's irritation because it's like bro like i hear you but like you're not that guy bro like i'm sorry bro like you gonna find out but like right now i hear you but like i don't i don't really even too much care about that like i care about like my music being heard globally or whatever but like as far as like me going to like massachusetts or wyoming somewhere i have haven't been and like walking in I don't expect nobody to be like yo bro like I've been watching your shit you're mad dope like if that happens then I'm blessed but if they don't I'm not gonna be walking around like with a mug like man these niggas they they cheer for dog but not me I'm like I don't if I get tied too much into that I'm gonna be a mad ass nigga bro so I just it is what it is they gonna know me eventually because I'm gonna put that work in wherever that area may be but right now if they don't shit it's coming oh yeah most definitely um now, um, I got two questions left for you. Oh, yeah, for real. My next question is, like, what are your goals? Or I wouldn't even say where your goals, really, because like, I know what the goals is, pretty much. Like, what, what advice would you give an artist coming up? Um, it's like just starting out and just really, like, starting to believe in themselves that they can really do music. I say learn how to make beats <laughs> or <laughs> teach your best friend how to make beats or something. Um, cause that's gonna be big, but, um, on the, on the journey tip, uh, I would say just make sure everybody around you is actually for you, you know what I'm saying? And also, like, even, you gonna get discouraged a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, the shit gonna be weak, unless you one of them niggas that's a plug, and you just got money to pay all the DJs, and for all these, everything that comes with it, and you know what I'm saying? But... If you're not that guy, then shit, don't get discouraged, cause it's gonna work out for you if you want it to work out, like, for sure, for sure, like, you just gotta stay consistent, like, you can't ever get lazy and <clears throat> think shit supposed to be handed to you, cause you could be the dopest nigga since sliced bread, cause I think I'm the dopest nigga since sliced bread, actually, but, shit, if you sit in the crib and just, like, rap for your niggas and stay where you from and it ain't no opportunities and you're aware of this, like, you can't just expect shit to be given to you, bro, and uh, that's really, really my main thing, other than, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're safe too, but you gotta actually put work in, bro. Cause it took me a while to actually be boots on the ground. Like I thought like being management, bumping into niggas on Instagram and shit was just gonna get us on the billboard charts. But like you actually gotta go into these spots and meet these people, bro. And like make good music too. But it's just about like being you, bro. Like be genuine and actually put work in and don't think niggas just owe you something, bro. Cause it really ain't owe shit. Yeah, you're right, but um, that's some good that's some good advice man I, I think a lot of people need to really hear that it's just not about recording just putting it on facebook and just posting it like you got to put the work in you got to hit the streets so yeah now my final question for you uh i ask everybody this question who come on this show um where do you see yourself five years from now If I know myself like I know myself, then shit, I won't say well off, but shit, I'll be established. Like, they gonna know what the fuck going on. You know what I mean? Like, my brand gonna be there. Because I like to think I don't got that much work left. Like, I got some shit that I have to do, but I'm gonna get it done. So I like to think, like, I'm gonna be straight. Like, you know, project, probably like two, three projects, hopefully be out. The way I work, shit, I can get a project done in like a weekend or like a week if they're a thing in, in, in place, you know what I'm saying? So, but like, I like to think moms would be in her own spot, you know what I mean? London to have his own crib, you know what I mean? Like, should it be comfy, bro? Like, should it be where it needs to be? And the game gonna be half as stressed as he is now. All right. And that's dope, bro. Like, I really think you on the right, like, you on the right track, on the right path. You got a good head on your shoulders. Oh, yeah, for sure. You got Thank a good you. grind, for sure. You got a good grind. Um, you're around the right people and just stay on your grind stay consistent and you know stay out the way and just do you and don't worry about what nobody got to say about you continuously 
and you're gonna be all right, bro. Yeah, my nigga, definitely, I got you. Sure, and I appreciate you for coming on the show, and um, I wish you the oh, best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anytime, bro. Niggas want to come to the A or something, do another one. That'll be on me. You know what I mean? Shout out Rap Draft again, you know what I mean? Big thanks for having a nigga on here. Shout out the platform. Y'all doing beautiful things for the city. Some some positive shit, you know what I mean? Everything ain't got to be all trapped out and negative, and, you know what I mean? But I fuck with it, man. Shout out everybody doing their thing in Milwaukee. Hope everybody's safe, you know what I mean? Positive and on their grind, bro, because that's what it's all about. So, so the little ones can actually enjoy some of this shit when we go, man, you got something left behind, cause a song is your voice, and if a nigga hear your voice when you pass, you still hear so shit. Gotta go ahead and put that work in it. Fuck with me, you know I mean? That's about it. You too, bro. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, know these niggas hate me, I just hate they breathing. Switch on every stick and little bro whip don't matter if they speeding. So much babe inside my closet, crazy. I go ape every season. On these beats too season, that's the reason. Op niggas out here scheming. I don't know how this bitch getting home, but I know she leaving. Most of these niggas broke, but rich in post, and I find that misleading. She keep it so G that I keep G's on all her purses. Purchase Percocets for service. Pop one with her and I go purging. One thing that I know for certain, serpents dying out on purpose. Ain't nothing set in stone that don't go wrong and make me nervous. Designer through me, y'all know rockin' Prada, cost a prayer Five percent the bins that I sit in out front bodega Cartier to watch, she watchin' the behavior, hope I date her Skating to a later, trade some Fendi for a favor just because yeah. Latest nigga trippin', he wasn't hittin' her the way I was yeah. Lies say she don't strip, but off this zip, I ain't gon' judge her yeah. Add out at your whereabouts, off rip, it ain't no grudge He died broke, that ain't no buzz, these niggas duds, he ain't no plug Ain't no drugs off of my system, I did this sober Drop some funds, make your bitch come and give you something to do this over, water ice my wrist over, looking like a brick holder, seen you when your bitch new whip you tripping, get it flipped over, niggas ain't believe he make the TV, that's what made this easy, I move way too sleazy, you deceive me, let's not make this greasy, feel like wheezy, in this coupe is speedy, no ceilings you see me, took off the bikini, wrote in Fiji, float the ghost like Ouija, she don't need me blowing up her phone when she alone, I get a text for that, niggas acting foul when I come round, I got the text for that, just check the stats, soon you run the track, you know this isn't that, F and N got Stick with that case, these niggas go tit for tat And know these niggas hate me, I just hate they breathing Switch on every stick and love bro whip Don't matter if they speeding So much vape inside my closet, crazy I go ape every season On these beats too season, that's the reason I niggas out here scheming She keep it so G that I keep G's on all her purses Purchase Percocets for service Pop one with it and I go purging One thing that I know for certain Serpents dying out on purpose Ain't nothing set in stone that don't go wrong and make me nervous Really one of them ones, not one of them Don't confuse it, get my number, don't abuse it cut you off if you a nuisance I got two clips barging in your home I'm known to be intrusive Don't play stupid So let them conducive F and then go through shit I'm a nuisance I got new shit I ain't drive due to the higher ups Revoke it can't buy the trust No don't hate they retire us Blank hating inspire us I might wrap my entire truck New Hellcat but the tires fucked I drop stats like the sliders up Rolling it ain't busted It got no prior charges Young I'm flying heartless Ash on carpets Drop some cash you targets Good on any market How much you talking I might overnight diverse Disperse a coffin I do this often Anytime I get on wax They bring in bombing Got my palms inside the dirt And surface diamonds All it took was timing You have been rhyming Your ass off for years I hear but still ain't signing Still ain't shining Must be out your mind Think this beef ain't one sided You decided Do your silk like butter Same color hypnotic No these niggas hate me I just hate they breathing <laughs> Hey yeah man Get my mic man I'm off this shit dog No bullshit